Live from Studio 3K in Rockefeller Center, you're watching Sports Final on NBC4 New York. Here's your host, Carolyn Mano. Long Island University has a new men's basketball head coach, and he should be a familiar face to some. He was the Knicks' first-round draft pick back in 1988 and played 17 seasons in the NBA. He ranks 13th all-time in assists, and it is a pleasure to welcome Rod Strickland to the show. Rod, thanks so much for being with me. First of all, congratulations. What are you most excited about with this new appointment? Uh, first, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just looking forward to leading uh, to, to, to be in that seat, that, that front seat, uh, and, and just to lead a group of young men, help develop them uh, on and off the court. But I'm, I'm just looking forward to the challenge. You know, you grew up in this area. You know this area. How advantageous is that for you coming into this program from everything to just getting to know your group of guys to recruiting moving forward and hopefully building something here? Yeah, I think uh, definitely getting to uh, know the young men and, and, and letting them get to know me. Uh, but just being from New York, a lot of friends, a lot of allies, uh, you know, and I also, you know, I've been in college uh, prior, also just finished with Team Ignite, which, mm -hmm. which was a great experience. And I think uh, just all of those uh, situations and people that I've met along the way, uh, I think they understand that I'm about young people. I'm, I'm going to develop, and I'm going to look. Uh, I'm going to look after them on and off the court. Yeah, for those who aren't familiar with Ignite, that's a development program for the G League. So you know, familiar with young talent coming in, and you mentioned your resume, spending a lot of time with John Calipari over the years. You know, how will that ultimately influence what you do, spending time at big name programs like Kentucky? Yes, just I mean, just all a part of that experience. You know, I've been in basketball. You know, seems like all my life, and I've had so many great experiences. Being a player, kind of understanding the dynamics, uh, you know, what it takes to, to become a special player, what it takes uh, on and off the court. And just being with Cal for eight years, had a chance to be at a high-level program, won the national title in 2012. A lot of great players, a lot of great relationships. But just having an understanding of, of what it takes and how it feels. Is there a singular takeaway from your experience there about what it does take? I mean, we all watch St. Peter's go on this magical run. I'm sure that's really exciting for you as you embark on this new journey of, you know, taking a, a team of talented kids and bringing them further than anybody else expected. Right. I mean, what do you sort of identify as uh, reasons why programs are successful every single year? Uh, well, it's consistency, it's accountability, uh, it's a culture. So it's just a matter of, of, of trying to create a culture of uh, competitiveness, you know, togetherness, uh, accountability. Uh, and I've had that opportunity uh, to be a part of some really special things, uh, you know, as a player, uh, as a college coach, and then being basically the general manager of Team Ignite and kind of putting a whole package together. So I just, I just look forward to going in there and kind of bringing my personality, uh, working hard uh, and letting those young guys know that I'm here with them. Yeah, I mean, I know that you're just getting to know this group of four tournament appearances in 12 years for LIU. I mean, how do you view this school? Could it be considered a sleeping giant? Is the talent there to do something very special? You know, well, we have a talented group uh, that came in third place in the conference last year. We have uh, most of the guys coming back. So I look forward to, to, to improving upon that. Uh, you know, I had a chance to talk to the guys as a group and also individually, uh, and, and it was good. You know, I mean, it was a tough adjustment for these guys. You know, the coaching change at this point of the year. Uh, but I'm ready to go. You know, I'm ready to get in there with them and, and get to work. And when they do go through a coaching change, for you coming in, you know, as a new head coach, what will be top of mind for you for earning their trust, building that mm -hmm. chemistry, and starting to develop those relationships? Well, it's, it's telling them who I am and then showing them it, you know. And I think uh, it's about getting in the gym, working, and, and letting them know that I'm there for them. You know, I've been around young guys, uh, young, young players a lot over the last years. And I know me being a former NBA player, it might sound good, but, <laughs> you know, they want to know what can you do for them well, and how do you help them. I was going to say, you're telling them who you are because a lot of them weren't born, right. you know, I, when I have you no were clue. Born. I have no <laughs> clue. All here, <laughs> say. Oh, yes. Yeah, but still, a lot of people around here, of course, know who you are, and yeah. you know about the pressure of being a point, a point guard in New York City. Mm -hmm. You know you know what it takes to, to come into this market and to execute, and I feel like people in New York City just have a real affinity for tough,
tough, creative, talented, hard-nosed point guards. Um, and big news this week with Jalen Brunson signing. Yeah. How do you think he'll fare with the Knicks? Oh, I think it'll be great. You know, I had a chance to see him in high school. You know, he was a top 20 player in high school. Uh, he had a great college career, and he's a winner. I think if you look at Jalen, every place he's gone, he's won. Uh, he knows how to play. You know, being in the NBA, you know, talent is everything, but knowing how to play uh, makes a big difference. And Jalen has a great IQ. I think he'll fit in any way to score the ball. You know, he has a feel for basketball, so I, I think it'll be great. So he, in your opinion, is worth the price tag. They were looking for him. They needed that point guard. They certainly paid him, but you think that that will ultimately pay off? And well, you're worth what they paid him. So if they paid him, <laughs> he's worth that. But I think he, you know, he's going to be really good for the Knicks. He's a solid uh, young man. I know his father. Uh, so the Knicks are getting a, a, a great player. Yeah, I love the memories that he talks about as a child where he had the Knicks jersey as a toddler yeah. and he was shooting on the court yeah. at MSG. And to see yeah. those memories kind of come to fruition in this way is really special for both him and his father. Uh, before we let you go, Rod, what can fans expect from an LIU coach Rod Strickland team? Well, we're going to play hard. You know, we're going to play hard. We're going to try to uh, fast-paced game, play hard. We're going to compete. Uh, and we're going to try to win as a team. Wish you all the best. Thanks for being with Thank us. You. I know you got a lot of work to do. I won't hold you here work. one second longer <laughs> uh, because basketball season, of course, is not that far away. Rod, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. That's Rod Strickland, who will make his head coaching debut November 7th when the LIU Sharks travel to Utah. Their non-conference schedule also includes a matchup with St. John's as well. Great to have that conversation.